Hey guys, TechnoMentry here today to show you guys a fix or troubleshooting for iPhone 8 or any iPhones that you have that are going through like a boot loop. Um, what this is usually like you'll see right now on my phone, it keeps on, you know, turning on with the Apple logo and then going black again. Um, it keeps on doing that so it's in a boot loop. Usually when this happens, um, some kind of power source or somewhere there's a connection that the phone um has the issue with so here um usually the two things to check for is the home button connections and there's a proximity sensor and camera sensor um near the top that also you know you want to check that connection as well to kind of see you know which one's the issue uh, most of the time i found it to be kind of the proximity sensor that if you don't connect it correctly or the um ribbon is defective you'll kind of have this issue because the phone can't get um properly charged um it'll just keep on doing that um so let's go ahead and take a look how to troubleshoot this first thing you want to do is kind of um as you can see um try to turn this off um the only way to do it is going to put it in like a dfu mode so we'll go ahead and um press and release the volume up button and then the volume down button and then hold the power button and that should um, put the phone in uh, DFU mode. So keep on holding it down um, and let it go once it goes kind of black. Once um, it stops do doing the reboot, that means the phone is um, completely powered off. We're going to go ahead and, um, you know, take the phone apart by taking these two screws on the bottom. Um, you should get um, like a think the hex tool should do it so i already un unscrewed them so i'm just gonna um take them apart just for this of quick to do it quickly um and then you want to take your suction cup that you have um put it on the screen and then take um some kind of little thing to kind of slide it underneath so you can take the phone up the screen apart um so that's Okay, so you can see you can take the screen apart um, and then slowly like pull downwards and you can see kind of the two ribbons here that um, hopefully you can see right here there's two ribbons. We have this one where the proximity and the camera sensor sits and then the battery and the display one right here. So what we want to do is um, there's three screws right here. Um, you want to take that those three screws use those are like a um pretty simple takeout once you take that out take this off right um this will come off um and then what you'll have is kind of the proximity sensor ribbon right here where my finger's pointing you want to pop that up um using like a one of these tools that you can get on ebay um whenever you buy um screens or you know any other replacement part um or you can buy it um check out the link in the description i'll include to kind of get these tools on ebay um so we'll go ahead and gonna pop this ribbon off very gently you don't want to um damage anything so um this ribbon should pop off as you can see, I'm having a little trouble, but um, so we were able to snap it up. So this ribbon is disconnected. This will kind of prove out if this is the, the proximity sensor in the camera um, part is the one that's the issue. So we'll go ahead and put the phone back. And this time, um, go ahead and power it on, see if we can get through past the boot loop. So uh, I'm holding the power button. Um, sometimes you might have to connect it to like a direct power source if it doesn't turn on because we did put it in a DFU mode um, and that way it should kind of start um, so right now we see the Apple logo come up um, after we see the Apple logo we should this time it should take us to kind of uh, the home screen and not do the boot loop um, that we saw before as you can see it did take us to the home screen and we're not in that constant boot loop hopefully this kind of helps you guys you know if you guys have any issue the other thing to troubleshoot if that's not the one i would do is um the home button one which is um straightforward um if you take the home button out here right here 
um, and take unplug the ribbons there. Um, there's um, videos on YouTube on my channel or other channels where you can kind of see how to do that. Um, hopefully this video helped. Um, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching, guys.